Greetings, folks, and welcome to the channel. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And yeah, in this segment of 112 scale military uh, action figure takes, I am showcasing G.I. Joe Classified Series number 80, Ralph Nunchuck Baducci. Um, yeah, this is a figure that was from based on the character from the Ninja Force towards the end of the line in the 90s, the early to mid 90s. Um, at this time, I wasn't really into at, to Joe's that much anymore. Um, but yeah, here's what it looks like in the bottom. Uh, yep. All those accessories, box art. Um, I'm not sure what compelled me to get him since I wasn't much of a ninja guy. But I think it was, you know, at least Ninja Force guy from back then. I thought they were look goofy. But of them all, this guy is the only guy that looked kind of military-ish to me. So, in a way, I kind of like them just because of that. But normally, my MO is not to get ninja characters other than Storm Shadow. Maybe even Snake Eyes, but not really. Okay, so yeah, here we go. I believe this was an Amazon exclusive, so yeah. Here he is. Um yeah. But we'll see. I don't know. I've you know probably get a change of heart when they look good in classified versus what they look like in the O-ring line from the 90s the packages were out of control they had street fighter and everything <laughs> street fighter 2 was on fire and man they really you know did everything they can to to to, <laughs> to sell it here's his goodies his claws i guess he only gets one claw is it supposed to get more i think he's supposed to get one more yeah Glad that I got that sorted out. Um, yeah, it comes in these things. Let's really cut these things out. Oh, cheese. Just needed one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> After this one last one, it should all be G double O D good. There you go. There you go. Here we go. And yeah, here's his box art. I think this, I don't know if I showed you guys. Yeah, his box art right here. Mm -hmm. You had to show it just in case. Yeah. He's got twisted ankles. Mm-hmm. Feet. Oh boy, I like his color scheme already, man. Kind of like you should have put him in Tiger Force instead of Ninja Force. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so it looks like he's got a couple of things going for him. He's got he's supposed to have his knife or tanto here. Cool. He's got grenades. Uh, we got his chucks, so I guess we'll just put his chucks. Kind of made out of a weird flexi plastic. Kind of cool, actually. Let me uh see if I could put it on his um back. Now, so this is where it's kind of hard because it's like, oh man, if anything, if you guys uh, hate to put it this way, but. The nunchucks need Viagra because <laughs> it's having a hard time getting in the hole. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just not stiff. <laughs> I'm so sorry, folks. But that's my experience, man, right now. <laughs> it's just not going in. It's not hard enough. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh man, I know. <laughs> enough, 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 enough. 
I didn't want to go there, but man, I'm just messing with this for the first time. And yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. So that's cool. Able to go in there. Um, yeah, just, just so y'all know, so you guys will experience it too. And then check's got ED, man. <laughs> Oh boy! Yeah, they, they, they didn't even come up with a stiffer piece here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but y'all see me struggling to insert. When you guys get your nunchucks, you'll understand what I'm talking about. When you try to insert into the to the slots, to the nunchuck slots. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see if we can get it in going into his, uh, his Simtars, his reminds me of Drizzt from, uh, Dark Elf from Icewind Dale trilogy. Yeah, this is, I'm not sure how this goes in. I don't want to look foolish, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of confused. And this is this do rag piece right here. Yeah, it's his. Yeah, this whole situation is kind of on the weird tip. Okay, yeah, I've not watched too many, if any, reviews. I don't think on on this toy, so I have no idea what to expect. Other than what I'm experiencing as we speak, as as I do this, right? Okay, so that went in. Um, please don't give me such a hard time on this side. Please, there you go. Yeah, he's he's, he's good there. And I guess since there's nowhere else to really put it, I gotta you know I'll make his claws his primary. Even though his name is Nunchuck, I've always been kind of a Wolverine fan. So, all right. So, I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but I'm just going to imagine that it is. All right. His hands are a little bit on the difficult side to to traverse this obstacle. But when I'm done putting them together, I'm sure you guys will be maybe impressed it a little bit right let's see all right there you go good and the other i don't know if there was a if if there was one specifically made to go to the other or not i i, I honestly i can't tell which one if there which goes where if that's true i'm just assuming that they're both somehow it's supposed to just make it right now his other yeah his other hand's kind of on the weird side it's like it's got a weird grip it's not the same as the the fingers are in a different kind of position not like a trigger okay so there you go yeah too bad they're not made out of adamantium <laughs> yeah okay so this is cool it's it's in his back um gosh dang how did i get this wrong okay so oops let me wait am i smoking <laughs> okay yeah i think this is supposed to go in the other way sorry about that folks it's yeah at least that's how it looks in my mind there you go there you go sorry about that guys Spiriting weapon dyslexia of some kind. <laughs> so yeah, all right. So he's a little bit on the hard side to to get to to stand up at the moment. I gotta, you know, manipulate him in a manner that puts him in a that puts him in a better light. Forgive me. All right, yeah. I'm not expecting these things to. To do to 
good as far as standing goes I'm like immediately that is you gotta yeah it's kind of weird i don't know if this is the best way to for his weapons to be i'm gonna manipulate this i'm um, pause okay so yeah i got him to finally look a little more respectable yeah so yeah this is yeah his feet his toes is just kind of a little on the wonky side but yeah he looks good now his hands were, were a little bit of a problem for me especially with the claws trying to get it so that it looks cool and more symmetrical versus you know wonky and trying to figure out what to do with it right yeah now it looks like a symmetrical threat yeah <laughs> i love this i'm not gonna lie i don't really like ninjas but dude this one's growing on me big time um at least gi joe ninjas that is i'm just it's just i'd rather them just not that have that many ninjas i want ninjas to be special we already got night creepers you know what i mean and now we got this it's just kind of uh or ninja force i mean he i think he's cool because he's at least you know military looking he's got these shoulder pads he reminds me of shinobi from genesis the sega genesis yeah this doesn't have enough shurikens but dude yeah he looks he looks pretty badass now i since i never picked up on any of the red ninjas or blue ninjas that that came out because again i'm not really much of a ninja guy i'm i don't know if the, those were these have their are basically the same accessories that were reused i imagine that they are um because they look they look similar from afar but again I don't, i'm not certain because i didn't give it too good of a look uh, people and you know to the audience out there watching let me know if they, if that's what indeed happened if they just used a bunch of parts from the other two either the blue or red and just gave it camo and cut you know and the headgear and stuff and see if you know it, it was the same you know reused parts but either way this this guy's pretty fun i have a feeling i'm going to enjoy messing with this guy especially once i get um uh now i don't know if i'm down to get an arctic storm shadow but i definitely want the one with all you know when he turned into a gi joe you know uh the one that revealed his tattoos and everything this guy looks really cool yeah i i i, I like his his tiger camouflage you know bdu kind of look i think it's really cool and his claws just i think it's killer I'm, i love the way these things look yeah yeah i think he's i think this fig is a win now final thoughts on this thing it it ain't you know it's 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 not bad i, I like it but if you're in for a nostalgia hit it's probably most likely for the 90s kids or the you know the guys who ended up enjoying joe's post you know when during the deek era and you know 90 i believe this came out 91 92 and uh, you know i i was already kind of like on my way to being like 15 16 in those years so mm, i wasn't really looking at joe's the same way anymore you know um i you know especially with the neon colors and stuff it just it was just kind of too wild for me of a change you know based on like the stuff that i used to like in the earlier mid to mid 80s um yeah, but this figure in itself as a classified fig, it's a win. Um, you will, you might, you guys might experience trouble like I did trying to put these nunchucks into their slots. Um, hands yeah, and the claws might be a little bit of a, you know, chore to, to get in. But other than that, once it's in, it's, it's, it's a good look. He looks pretty cool. Like he's ready to scratch a mother. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to scratch him. <laughs> so cool. All right, folks, this is all I got for this segment of 12 inch millet. No, 12 inch, one sc 12 scale military action figure takes. Uh, G.I. Joe classified um, Ralph Nunchuck Baducci, number 80. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And until the next video, folks, ciao.